tutorial we will discuss about elemental stiffness matrix so elemental stiffness matrix like this one and uh, in the previous video uh, tutorial number two we discuss about the how to derivative or Lagrange basis function so just see them and uh, you will find the answer for this uh, for this integration we have to apply the quadrature formula like from here to here a and b and um, this uh, domain value change to x so and then we said this whole uh, one is function of fx and we um, we apply the quadrature formula from here to here this is the gauss legendary uh, variable also this one we discuss gauss legendary variable in the video number three so just see it so uh, so our integration is related with b minus a by 2 this is the uh, grid generator you, we also discuss in the tutorial 3 you will find it grid generator and this is grid generator formula so let's talk about our matlab code so here uh, this is our elemental stiffness matrix and our input is uh, n number of element x max and x min and we produce first uh, a zero matrix the n plus one n plus one that is this one four by four matrix uh, this one four by four matrix this four 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 by four matrix and then uh, we call the grid generator from the previous video and we say here a number of exactness so this is uh, you have to memorize it number of exactness is two multiply n plus one and we call the Gauss legendary function uh, with this number of exactness formula and each element as we have three element so it will one two three and we say alpha b element minus a element that means this one uh, here uh, okay there so b minus a divided by 2 so b element that means each element um, there okay each element that means silicon uh, silicon if the n is 3 so silicon silicon quadrature will be like that if the n is 3 the, there will be four node node 1 2 3 4 just uh, I want to see showing there okay there if n equals to 3 so element number 1 it will have 1 2 3 4 element number 2 it will have 1 2 3 4 again element number 3 1 2 3 4 infinitive number of element no problem so this is the local coordinate so uh, for each each node we are calling b element and a element for it will take like that a b again a b a b like that way so it will generate the formula again and again uh, so that's why we say that uh, this is alpha b element minus a element divided by 2 and it uh, produce a variable is called line space that means a element and b element and uh, there is interval uh, it depends on the four that means this one uh, a element and B element, B element maximum and plus one that means it will produce four. Okay. <clears throat> and then uh, the letter one uh, is one, two and plus one. So why this is n plus one? Let's go to our theory. Okay, here. So I guess to one, two, this is n plus one, not m. This is n plus one and inside the loop it will produce j uh, 1 to n plus 1 that means we take a variable is called temp 0 and for k 1 to gauss legend, uh, degree of exactness we say that x e we say any arbitrary variable that, that variable is related with uh, this one we say hold this thing x e sorry here uh, we say this whole thing a plus z i plus 1 by 2 b minus a by 2 is x e that means we call it as x e so we define in here x e and uh, call the conductivity from the previous video 
and also call the differentiate uh, because we need this one uh, differentiation i and j and as well as stiffness variable k we call this um, differentiation i and differentiation j and multiply it so here you say differentiation i differentiation j with multiply conductivity okay so this one with multiply conductivity with the Lagrange basis function with the Lagrange basis <coughs> sorry gas law gas legendary function and these uh, this x will generate these uh, del i in xc so what is this so let's go to this one you see a, a variable x so this variable we inserted x e that means this one we inserted x e so again here you see that the i there is x value so x value comes from x e this is the gas legendary function and also conductivity difference on x so we are converting everything to x e okay so now it will generate and it will produce uh, according to the element number and uh, i and j value it will produce again and again and it will make the our stiffness uh, stiffness uh, matrix so in the next video we will talk about the load vector so there we we, uh, we need the load vector in here so we will talk about the load vector thanks for watching